Welcome to this online video tutorial for using Google Meet in the classroom. This tutorial is not meant to be an exhaustive tutorial by any means. This is just a uh, quick and dirty way to get uh, um, out there with Meet and your students. So in a previous video, we uh, created a, um, a Meet link and posted it in Blackboard. So I'm going to click on that link now. And I'm going to launch Google Meet. So at this point, we're not actually not in the meet meeting. We are in a lobby and a holding space before we enter the meeting. So at this point, you'd want to take advantage of the more options button in the bottom right corner, just to test your microphone and speakers. So I'll click on more options, go to settings. And now I see my audio tab here where my microphone and speakers live. And I can see that my microphone is working because I'm getting a modulation here uh, next to the microphone icon. And if I click on the test button, I uh, will hear a sound and that will tell me that my speakers are, are working. If for any reason either your microphone or speakers are not working, come up to the drop down and select or see what devices are connected to your computer and just through trial and error, select the proper device and see which one actually begins working. Same goes for the headset. There's a drop down here as well uh, for the speakers. So see if there's any other devices connected. If you don't see your device, maybe check your connection to the computer again. And what you might want to do then is actually close that Meet tab, um, check those connections, unplug the, the device and plug it back in, and then launch uh, your meeting from Blackboard once again. There's also a video tab here. That's to check your camera. So I can see my camera's connected. The reason why my screen is black because I have the privacy shade down on my, my camera. Um, but you will see your camera here. There's a drop down. You can see other connected devices. I only have the one camera. If you do not see your camera here, then check its connection. Um, unplug it and plug it back in. But if you're going to unplug and plug the device back in again, just like the audio devices, leave the meeting, do that, click on the meeting link again, come back in, and check if they appear. So now that you've successively tested your video and audio, you're ready to join the meeting. So click on Join Now. And now we're actually in the Meet meeting space. So the meeting interface uh, basically uh, is the center screen. So the active speaker, the active mic, uh, will take the center screen of your meeting. So if your student is speaking, um, they will pop into the center screen. If, depending on how many people you have connected, Meet can um, hold up to 150 participants. And what you'll see across the top is just I think it's randomly uh, 10, 10 video images or 10 little um, uh, boxes of participants, and that's referred to as a film strip. Um, I would suggest that in Meet, that unless you need to be seen or need to be heard, that's the only time your camera should be on or your microphone should be on. So down in the middle of the screen here, there's a menu bar to mute your mic and to turn off your camera. So etiquette in web conferencing is if you're not speaking, your microphone is muted. Um, if you need to be seen, have your camera on, but I would not recommend having 30 people with their camera on in a meeting. That would take a lot of bandwidth and potentially be hazardous to the quality of your meeting. So just to play it safe, um, only have your camera on if you need to be seen. In the top right, we can see that there are two tabs. One indicates the participants or the people in the meeting. Right now, I can see there's one person in the meeting, and that would be me. I can click on that tab, and I can see a list of who's in the meeting. Next to the People tab is the Chat tab. I can click on it, and that opens up the chat window. To send a chat, come down to the bottom of the screen, or the bottom of the pane of the chat window, and type in your message, and then click the Send button. And now your chat is viewable to everybody within the meeting. The chat window is really nice to help uh, participants troubleshoot. Uh, so maybe you could see that you're, you're not being heard well, so maybe you need to speak up. Or um, students are unable to get devices working and they can let you know what's going on with them. So uh, the chat uh, feature is a nice tool not only to communicate, but also um, to help troubleshoot. To make that uh, um, pain go away on the right, just click in the center of the screen and it will, it will disappear. Now, you have a choice when you're using Meet. You can actually display content through Meet, so I could put up a lecture PowerPoint, I could put up documents, all through the share function. So 
what I would recommend is that um, before going into Meet, line up all the materials that you would want to, to use. So here I have a PowerPoint open in the background. I could have a PDF open in the background. I could have a, a Google Doc. I could have a Word document. But just line up all the, uh, all the items you want to use uh, in your lecture beforehand. So you can see, here's my PowerPoint. So the next step is I, I'm, I want to um, share my PowerPoint to the meeting and I want to start lecturing. So to do this, I'm coming over to the Present Now button, clicking on it, and I'm going to do my entire screen. So then this screen will pop up, I'll select my entire screen, and I will click Share. Once I click Share, this uh, my screen will be uh, pushed out to all the participants. So now I'm sharing my screen with all the participants, and I'm going to go to my PowerPoint. Now, whatever I'm seeing on my screen, the participants in the meeting are seeing. So here I am with, uh, with my PowerPoint, and uh, I'm just in the edit view, and I, people have many different ways of launching their PowerPoint. I press F5 to start mine. Some people come down to the little uh, slideshow button down here to start, but uh, I'm gonna start my slideshow, so I'm gonna press F5. And now it's just a PowerPoint. It's just a PowerPoint that I'm speaking to, and in the background, it's being pushed out to all the participants in my meeting. I can advance my slides and speak to my slides as I go. Now, if I want to go back to my meeting, I come down and click Stop Sharing. Escape to get out of PowerPoint. And then I come down to my taskbar and I go back to Chrome because Chrome is where my meet meeting is living. So I'm just clicking Chrome. And now I'm back in my meeting and I will see um, all, all my students or they will see me. My, I'll see myself in my self view of the camera. Um, so that's what that would look like. Um, once again, if I, if I at some point I want to return to my content, I'll just come back to present now, choose your entire screen, click on the screen, click share, and then go back to my content and begin presenting again. So there's a lot of ways you can, um, can move through this. When I want to stop sharing, click the button again, press escape, go back to my Chrome browser, and I'm back in my meeting. Uh, to leave the call, I would press hang up here in the middle. So to review, uh, active speakers will take the middle screen, so whoever's speaking will automatically pop into the middle screen. If you're not speaking, click on the meet button. If you do not need to be seen, have your camera turned off. And that will help ensure or at least improve your odds of success. We always say web conferencing is a best effort service, never a guaranteed service because you're at the tyranny of the internet um, for quality of your call. Um, so you could be doing everything right, but on the internet, a lot of things could be happening which would affect the quality of your call. So um, look on this site for further resources around Google Meet that are linked directly to Google. And uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it informative.